This is Yvonne, and I've been seeing Yvonne since uh, uh, for the last 11 years for episodic vertigo, but about five years ago, her symptoms changed and became persistent. Uh, can you describe uh, the unusual symptoms of disorientation you were having? Okay. Um, for quite a few years, I've suffered from vertigo, and I know I can't read on a plane or, or a moving car and all of that, but about eight years ago, uh, my, I started having migraine headaches that put me uh, in bed, which I'd never had, and the vertigo attacks that I would get with that um, became to a degree where when I would look out into the world, it was telescopic, like I was looking through a telescope weather changes, um, certain ups and downs would put me in the bed for more than eight hours and I never suffered from migraines in my life. Um, going to a grocery store, the aisles seemed to be closing in on me. Uh, when I walked down the aisle, I would have to kind of hold my head down. Um, being in a mall situation and seeing people walking uh, in crowds would also um, put me in a situation where um, things became telescopic. I could just feel myself removing away from, it seems, reality, just moving further and further and back. Uh, and one other thing that really, really is bad is if I'm going up an escalator and the escalator is not working and I have to walk up the escalator, my whole body just seems to go into um, like uh, I'm in a blender yes. and something is not right. And the only way for me to get up those stairs will be to walk with my head down and walk all the way up. I can't take in the visual of the steps going up but not moving. So my body just goes into something that's, I don't know what's going on. It's like a whirlpool. Now you did have an unusual description of, as it, uh, of feeling as though you're standing behind where you are physically uh, present in space, mm -hmm. as if you were um, looking out into the world from a place behind your eyes. Yes, and that sort of is like being in a, if you've been in a house of mirrors, mm -hmm. that sort of feeling of all those mirrors and you're standing behind looking at the world through a layer. And it has nothing to do with vision, it's just a, your sense of, of where you are in space and standing behind yourself looking out at the world is the feeling that you, um, that I, I had for several, several years. And your symptoms have improved quite a lot. On they have the, improved uh, medication. quite a lot with the medication that I am on. I'm followed, of course, by uh, my specialist and the medication has helped me tremendously. Um, going from zero to a hundred, I would say I feel I'm at 95 now compared to where I was. And that's both the symptoms of disorientation in space, the episodes of vertigo, and the headache. Yes, it is. Yes, all, it all is. All of that. All of that combined together. I am 95% um, of the time asymptomatic, but there could be little things with weather changes or if I come up too fast. I still will not read on a plane or in the car. I don't sit in the back seat of a car because I know that motion can uh, has potential to you know start a little something. Thank you so much, Yvonne, for sharing your story with us. You're welcome. Okay.